All right, so we're working with Lightroom 5.5, and if you've already put in a memory card, you're probably looking at the import dialog now. However, if it didn't open, you will need to be in your library module before you can see your import dialog button. So you need to be in the library, you'll see the import button on the bottom left, and once you click on that, you'll be in the import dialog. And you'll see this is going to be a little different looking. There won't be any headings with library develop, etc. It's just going to be a big window. On the left hand side, it's going to say from, which is also referred to as the source. We have the image preview area in the center. That's where the images will appear that are on your card. And the to side, which is also known as the destination side. And that's where your images will be going. However, let's just back up for one second to our library module again and choose that import button just to show you what you can do if you see this window. There's a downward facing arrow on the lower left hand side which will show more options. When you click this button, it will open up the window like we saw a second ago to reveal the image preview area that appears in the center of this import dialog. If the top of your from column or source column shows nothing, not the name of your card, you don't see anything, it's probably because your memory card's not seated or the cables are not connected. Once it's seated, it'll show up in the devices section of the source and it won't show your pictures until you select it. Then it will show up in the preview area of the import dialog and the name from will show up at the top left hand side. Now right next to the name of your memory card there is a pull down menu but I'm trying to keep things simple here. Most of the time you're not going to be importing from files inside your computer. You're going to be importing from your memory card. So there's no reason really to do this except on a rare occasion. So I am pointing to the things you will do most frequently and that is to choose the memory card that is in your card reader. Now you can always navigate through the files that appear below your device or your memory card and you'll notice at the bottom of those your memory card shows up again. You can navigate through those folders if you want but it's exactly the same card and you're going to see exactly the same results. So there's no reason to do that. Just use the memory card that shows up in your devices column when you're going to your import. So just above where your memory card appears, you'll notice it says eject after import. You'll want to have that checkbox checked. This way, when you're done importing your pictures, the memory card will automatically be ejected from your computer, meaning you can safely take it out of your card reader without damaging the data. Okay, so that's it for the basics on the source column or the from column in the import dialog. It's not everything, it's the basics. And so what I'm trying to accomplish here is getting you started. And from there on, we can go into details in future episodes of Lightroom Guy. In the meantime, our next blog post will be about the image preview area and the various options you have for importing. Until next time, this is Lightroom Guy. Thanks for watching.